Hello, welcome to Snails and Fairy Dust. Today I want to take a look at using different mediums to stiffen your beadwork. If you take a look at this earring here, um, you know that it's it's just beadwork, so they will sort of flap like this. Sometimes I'm wearing these earrings and they just bend in on themselves and it's not a cute look. Um, same with these ones. And so sometimes I use a stiffening agent. Um, when it's a wider earring like this. Personally, I have always used Mod Podge, um, Gloss Finish Mod Podge. Um, that has been my go-to. And this pair of earrings have been treated with it a while ago. Um, and you see it's still flexible, it's still bendy. If I wanted to, I could really bend that in half, but it would take, you know, I'd have to actually bend it. Um, it's not gonna do it on its own while you're wearing it. So it just gives it a bit of stiffness. Um, and keeps it in its shape when you're wearing it. So I have a few different things to try out here. This is called Diamond Glaze. Um, it's a water-based uh, product and it's used to create a glass-like finish um, over whatever you're working on. And then the other one I'm gonna try is Protecticlear. This one apparently is used to sort of put over metal to prevent it from being a, a, like an allergy, an allergen. Um, but it's also combustible, it smells apparently, and um, I think I have to use some sort of solvent to clean my brush, so we'll see. I'm not really happy about it. Um, <laughs> but you see with Mod Podge, it is non-toxic, so that's generally my go-to, and I think probably still will be, but um, I wanna try them all, because I've read that they all work, and so I wanna, um, I've only ever tried Mod Podge myself, so I wanna try these other ones and um, give you a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm gonna start with the Mod Podge, and I just um, do one side of the earring, and I sort of just layer it in a coat. Um, it's important to do one side, because especially if you don't like the finished look, then you could always hang your ear wire so that the back is facing the back, um, if you don't like that side. And um, start out with a little bit, and don't overdo it. Um, and the main thing is, is like trying to work it down into between the beads, you know. Um, so this is the protect, oh no, the diamond glaze, sorry. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the diamond glaze. Um, this one also says you could add water to it, um, which I haven't done here, but it's a lot thinner than I expected it to be compared to the Mod Podge. Um, but it goes on in the same sort of way. Neither of them are smelly at all, which is nice. Um, I like things that aren't smelly because then I hope they're not killing my brain cells. And now on to the Protecticlear. And this one is smelly. Um, by the way, I'm cleaning my brushes in between all of these. Um, so this one does have a scent to it. Honestly, it gave me a bit of a headache and I should have used it outside and not inside the house. Um, but you know, we learn things, right? Um, so this one, it's very clear going on and you could hardly see it. So here we are afterwards. I waited a whole day because it was really humid here in England and it took a while for things to really harden. So first we have the Mod Podge. Um, and I feel like I put a little too much on this. Honestly, I went back and put a little bit more, but it has the results I like. Um, and yeah, it's still a little bit flexible not too stiff, um, it's not gonna fold in on itself, does the job for me. The Diamond Glaze is next. This one I think I'm the least happy with because um, it's really stiff actually, it's much stiffer than the other one. So if you're looking for stiff, you have it. But you see it's sort of, maybe I put too much on, I don't like that it's, you could really see it, the surface. It's definitely like coated the beads. Um, and so maybe it's just too much, but it does give a very stiff finish compared to the other ones. And then this is the one that I really wanted to hate to protect the clear. I wanted to hate it because it's toxic and it smells. But honestly, like I, I like the finish. It has the flexibility. Um, I feel like it kept the beads true to their original um, look. Because I can't even, you could hardly tell which side is which. Um, which I think is a good sign. Um, I don't know, I, I like it. I don't think I'll use it just because I do um, worry about the toxicity, um, but to, you should know it doesn't smell once it dries. It doesn't smell at all. And this is just, this is the dried Mod Podge like 
globule that was on my tray here. And then this is the dried uh, diamond glaze. What you see is a bit like, um, it was a bit harder than the Mod Podge, but it's just interesting to see how it dries on its own. Um, I don't know, maybe this Protected Clear or the Diamond Glaze has other applications. Like maybe I could use it for pressed flowers. I don't know. Um, I definitely will keep it in my arsenal. And um, it seems like an interesting product. So I'll probably stick with Mod Podge for now. I can't really see myself using the Protected Clear unless it was a specific purpose just because it smells and it's not good for the environment. Um, and that's where we are. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.